anyway, I think the important thing is we spoiled a lot of people's fun. So that's that's this, it wasn't all bad. And I, I love the way you draw the parallels with the. Uh, puritanism now a lot of great things about puritanism but but to be puritanical of course is is a bit of a, a killjoy thing isn't it and uh you you, you yeah. draw the historical analogies with that which uh really really brings the message home i think it's uh well yeah and i think we did i mean thankfully i think that the that sort of zero covid brigade who were the real puritans who you know said yeah. we should eat in silence and and you know they, they were treating the spread of disease as a, a sin essentially, yeah. and that, you know, you had to sort of deny yourself because of this sinful act. Um, and, but thankfully, that went away. Like, that went away when China tried to do the most brutal of lockdowns for that yeah. first Omicron wave yeah. in Shanghai. And they were, you know, people were locked in apartment blocks. They didn't have any food. They were screaming out the windows that they were yeah. starving. And the world was watching. Oh, and they were also gathering up the pets to murder them. Um, yeah, so it was, it was just... I know, it's just so distressing. I just don't, don't even want to think about it. Yeah. No, it was as cruel as could be, and it had no impact whatsoever because it's an airborne virus. I'm just thinking, um, would wearing hair shirts have reduced transmission? <laughs> I, think, I think if you were a zero Covidian, yeah, definitely. I mean, the more uncomfortable <laughs> you not? are, you know, if you're itchy all over, surely that would help a bit. Yeah, and of course you couldn't, you know, couldn't play sport, you couldn't sing, you couldn't dance. Do you remember Walk the... outside on your own. Oh, yeah. There's <laughs> zero risk to yourself and zero yeah. risk to yeah. anyone so you... else. I don't know if you remember, in, I think it was New Year's Eve of 2021, it must mm. have been. Uh, 2021 going into 2022, because yeah. the previous one we were locked down anyway. Mm. And um, in Scotland, people were being arrested for dancing because the rule was you couldn't. You couldn't dance. You could go to a party, but you couldn't dance. Um, and there were all the rules about weddings, about, you know, you could have canapes oh, yeah. outside, but you yeah. couldn't have music and dancing. Yeah, yeah. You know, and and the distress of people not being able to go to funerals and things. Oh, yeah. You know, it's interesting. I've just been reminded um, that the, in, in the Black Death, you know, sort of 1348 and subsequent outbreaks, there was a group of people called flagellants who went around whipping themselves to appease their distorted view of religion or whatever it was but maybe there is something that's the people these people that were flagellants were human beings just like us so so maybe there's something that's sort of innate to humanity that makes you think well if i'm in pain it must be doing some good i it's um i just thought of that just then it's just an interesting parallel with the flagellants of the uh, of the 1300s well yeah i think there is so much truth in that and i think that that has caused so much harm with them um, with the vaccines as well you know that that belief around well you know, I, I'm going to take some days off work because I'm going to get my vaccine then and I know I'm going to be really sick. Now, why are you doing this to yourself? This is young people doing this to themselves quite knowingly, knowing that they're going to make themselves sick because it's the right thing to do or something. Mm -hmm. You think, well, how sick do you think you're going to be if you don't do this? Because probably not sick. 